if you're looking for a great natural laundry detergent, look no farther. I can't wait to share this fabulous laundry detergent that I found with you guys. It impressed me the very first load of wash. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned and check out this video. Hi everyone, it's Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very fabulous day today. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in. If you are a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back. I just want to say thank you for sticking with me and I really appreciate that. I've been gluten-free since January of 2013 and after that time, I really started investigating ingredients. The laundry detergent that I'm going to discuss with you guys has fabulous ingredients. Love. Uh, there will be videos where I'll say this is a try on or a first impression, but this is not a first impression. I have been using this product for quite some time now and I really wanted to give it a thorough go through to see how it works and there were products that I was using for up to a year and they stopped performing. I didn't want that to be one of those products that I suggest to you guys. It's not an affiliation or a sponsorship. It is just a company and a brand that I really thoroughly enjoy. It works and so I want to share it with you guys. The brand is KBK Night by Night Organics. I was floored by this detergent from the very first time I tried it. I posted about it on Instagram. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how I found this out. I think I saw in their bio of their Instagram that they are an Atlanta-based company. If you guys knew, I grew up in uh, on the East Coast. I grew up in South Carolina. I was actually born in Atlanta. And so that is one reason that it intrigued me. Secondly, I am a mom of two boys and uh, they are involved in boy life. So it is uh, soccer mountain biking, dirt biking. My older son, now oh, he is working on trucks. I have two trucks in my backyard right now, but he is trying to restore one of them. That is his project for his senior year. He wants to have that in his senior pictures and also drive that his senior year, probably toward the end of the senior year, the way things are working out. Yeah, so he comes in, he's sweaty from working on those. He covered is covered with oil, so I need something to get out that type of uh, dirt and grime out of his clothing. And so I look for a detergent that works. It is a vegan product, no animal testing, uh, for sensitive skin and no chemicals. 30 loads if you have a conventional washer, 60 if you have an HE washer, and that's what I have. It has the pure ingredients of washing soda, baking soda, sea salt, salt flakes, essential oils. They do have an unscented, so that would contain no essential oils. A sodium a silicate, or silicate, uh, however you want to pronounce that. It does have starch, hydrated silica, and it is made with love. And I would say all those things, I talked to Tammy, the owner, uh, on the phone, and I just, she offers great customer service. How do I know that? Well, in the first order that I received, one of the bags had leaks. Um, there was product out of it. I notified her that I do have it in a bag. I've used this, guys. I want to use one full bag to let you guys know exactly how the product performed. And I called her, no, customer service is fantastic. She said, let me send you out another one, and she did. So, um, I, Tammy, thank you so much. I have enjoyed this product. This is fabulous. And the scents that it comes in is lavender, lemon, and honeysuckle, and there is an unscented, which of course would contain no essential oils. Let me grab the uh, unscented bag. Um, the unscented has washing soda, baking soda, soap flakes, and made with love. That's all that that has in it. So just want to let you guys know three hardworking ingredients in the unscented. I did want to try out the unscented and see how it performed and works just as well even though it has no scent. Is, uh, scoops are provided. There's two scoops that are in the big bag. So be looking for that. Sometimes during shipping they get kind of shuffled down to the bottom. So you will receive one of these and one of the smaller ones. These are compostable um, or recyclable, however you prefer to do that. Uh, I throw most everything in the garden and it breaks down so I don't have an issue with that. But check your area it may differ and you may have a different way of uh, recycling your products use one scoop two ounces for small loads and two scoops four ounces for large loads for he washers 
uh, you're going to use one ounce for small loads and two ounces for large loads. I will now, let you guys know that I do a lot of laundry, so I tend to have large loads. And I have found that for an HE washer uh, in my little uh, laundry scoop, I did find that a little less than one quarter cup, this is my scoop for laundry detergent, is what um, works for a regular load for uh, my washer. So if that kind of helps you guys, sorry for the light. Um, yeah. The light keeps changing in and out. This is the first sunny day that I've had in uh, like two, three weeks that, uh, yeah, I could get something filmed. So <laughs> that I haven't been at any soccer practice or soccer games. Busy, hashtag mom life. Skin is great for septic tanks, for HE washing, which like I said, I had environmentally safe, uh, has no parabens, phosphates, chlorine, artificial color, colorants, uh, no animal testing and no chemicals. It is great for tough dirt, uh, yet gentle on clothes. It's great for baby clo baby clothing, especially cloth diapers. It is great for the environment. It's on delicate clothes, and I have washed uh, my delicates, bras, panties, uh, lingerie. Have not had an issue with that. And it's great for vintage clothing. Uh, and I will say I have some vintage clothing because I actually, if you guys know, I'm 46. I have clothing that I've had from high school that I still wear. My mom taught me very well by basics that will last and some of those things I did and uh, it's great for washing in cold water, which I usually always do. Uh, the only thing that I usually uh, wash on hot water is towels. Now, I will say this. Uh, one of the things when I was talking to Tammy, she's like, you won't even need dryer balls in the dryer because that's how I, um, I don't use uh, fabric softeners or uh, dryer sheets or anything like that. I use essential oils and uh, wool dryer balls in the dryer. She said, you won't even need those to make your towels fluffy. She was right. I actually, by mistake, forgot to put those dryer balls in. They were in a previous, I was doing a lot of laundry, a lot of things were going on. I forgot to take the dryer balls out of the laundry that I'd taken out of the dryer, put a new load in, and it happened to be towels and sheets, and I could not believe how fluffy the towels came out. It was just amazing. And that is one of the ingredients that's in here. The uh, sea salt actually helps to make your clothes uh, softer without damaging those delicate fibers in your cotton fiber clothing or your towels so it worked. Uh, I have mentioned that I am chemically sensitive. I was worried about the honeysuckle and the lavender of this. No problem whatsoever. It's just an amazing laundry detergent. I can't. I, that's one thing I you know I just had to tell you guys. I just when I find something well, uh, I will let you guys know there is free shipping if you buy the larger laundry detergents and that should be on their website uh, www.kbkorganics.com. Their Instagram is KBK Organics as well as their Facebook and their Pinterest and I will link everything down below so you guys won't have any problem finding that if you want to get in touch with Tammy. Uh, they do all for sample packs so you can get this is the small sample pack and this does one load of laundry uh, actually in HE I used half of this so this got me two loads and this is in the honeysickle scent this smells heavily this is the first uh, sample that I use before I use one the larger lavender Oh my gosh, this was so great. I, I literally, in that Instagram post, I said I could not stop smelling my son's soccer socks. I have never said that. Never, never, never. And it was true. But I love this, that it does not, it's a fresh, clean scent. It's nothing overwhelming. Like I said, chemical sensitivity here. What most people are on a two or three scale, I smell at a 10. So I have a nose like a bloodhound. That's the joke my husband says. And I don't have any issue with this whatsoever. So... Uh, I hope you're all having a very fabulous day. Let me know if you're going to try this or maybe you've already tried a sample and what you think of it. If you have any questions, leave that down in the comment section below. Feel free to email Tammy if you want. I'm sure she would love to hear from you. Let her know that I sent you if you don't mind. Again, this is not sponsored or in no way am I affiliated with this company. I just, when I find a product that I love, I want to share it with you guys. I hope you're all having a very happy, healthy, and gluten-free day and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye guys.